Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox. Unfortunately, today we will not be doing the planetential debates because Jupiter would clearly win those, but instead we are going to be playing around with rings because last time we got Earth... Actually, no, it was the moon. We gave the moon some pretty amazing rings while Earth was orbiting the moon because, you know, that's how things go around here. Um, but I think there's a lot of power in the uh, ring tool that I haven't tapped yet, whereas I've tapped pretty much everything else in this universe. Well, more than tapped. Absolutely obliterated everything else in this game. Um, but... When we get to the ring tool, there are a few cool things that I haven't tried yet. So when you go to the modification, I've never really tried to do particles in a sphere. So I've done planets in a sphere, but I'm kind of curious what it would look like if we went ahead and grabbed that... Uh... Oh, shape. Here we go. Box. Can make a box? How does a box ring work? What? Uh, we'll just make this 0 0.1 for comedic effect. Um, and this one will also be 0 0.1 so you can really see the box. Really, a, a box? That is very laggy. Wow, I should not have turned the particles so high. It doesn't even look like a box. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, control Z. Oh, I can control Z that. That's nice. All right, game. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, let's bring that down to 9,000. That should be a little bit more reasonable, right? For some reason, if you let the simulation play for... I think you need to let it play for a second to... It really doesn't look like a box, though. Like, what the heck? I'm very concerned about the fact that this does not actually look like a box in any way. Am I the only one? Like, I... It looks like it didn't actually put everything where I was planning on it. It just kind of threw it all over the place. So let's go ahead and try this again with a new Earth. Very casual battery replacement in my headphones. All right. So let's go ahead and plop Earth back down. Try the I want to see the Taurus as well, but hopefully it's better than the box. I was really expecting a box with the box, and I didn't get a box with the box. It's very, very confusing, all right? Okay, we'll put it up to like there, and um, let's see, if we do... We'll leave the radius the same, because I'm confused, um, and we will go ahead... No, we won't. I want to see... Okay, so if we do like zero point... 0 0.5 to 0 0.1. Can't complain. There we go. Oh, it is a Taurus. Oh, look at that. Alright, so that one worked. It's a little bit fuzzy and hard to see. Actually, why when you hit play? When you hit play, it must do like a physics octree or something and then just like fix all of the inaccuracy and make it so much faster because it's kind of odd. Wow, this kind of looks like uh, all the satellites and stuff, you know? Kind of that thick. I mean, it would be really easy not to hit any of this though because there's only a few thousand and even if we go like this, what are the chances of hitting something when 99% of it is empty space? Pretty much nothing, but it still looks cool. I mean, it looks a little bit depressing like Wally. We, we. All right. Okay. So we got that. Uh, can we make another one, but closer? I feel like we can go closer. I, you know, we haven't really pushed this as far as it can go yet. Oh, but we lost it again. I wish I could save my own custom rings. Like, please add that to the game, Universe Sandbox Two Team. I would highly appreciate it. <laughs> That'd be really great, alright. I will bribe you with, uh, more videos. <laughs> I don't know, they used to comment on my videos, the Universe Sandbox 2 team. They used to, years ago. Good times. Good times. Alright, here we go. Are we ready? We're gonna make a Taurus. 
Oh, wow, that is much closer. It, it shouldn't hit Earth because... Nope, they are hitting Earth. It, it shouldn't because they should be, you know, not, not losing any velocity, but, you know, inaccuracies. Look at that, that's a little bit scary. That is a uh, ring that most would consider a little bit too close to Earth. Only it was a little bit easier to see. What if I set the lighting to flashlight mode if it'll be easier to see the rings? They don't really catch the light that easily. If only they were larger particles. <laughs> You're like, Spike, you know you can- Shh, we're getting there. <laughs> you know, we, we gotta start somewhere, because otherwise... I, I don't even know. If you don't start somewhere, what even happens? Okay, that doesn't look much better. I'll be honest. Okay, let, let's let's take the brave step to going to bodies. This, this is probably going to end with 80% more death, though, so I just want you all to be prepared for that. Okay, so, Earth, let's give you another new ring. We're going to do a Taurus, because Taurus looked good. We'll do bodies again in a little bit. Um, let's see, if we give Earth a very nice Taurus ring... Okay, you Saturnize our base, we'll do 0 0.02 for the inner, and we'll do 0 0.05 for the outer. We will put the amount of particles to 0, we'll put the amount of bodies to 100-ish. We'll do bodies instead of particles, and yeah. That isn't a Taurus. I made a mistake. Oh well. Uh, switch it to Taurus, and we'll add more. Ah yes, there we go. A proper Taurus. They're kind of small. That's even harder to see than the rings. <laughs> I mean, there is a lot of them. <laughs> there is a lot going on here. I won't lie. Wow. That that is. Quite a few objects going around Earth. I kind of wonder what happens if we, like, put the moon. Don't freak it out. That, that is a lot of... You know, that, that is pretty impressive. Alright, moon time. Not as in I'm going to moon you, as in I'm literally putting the moon down. Okay, moon is influencing. But not as much as I would have expected. Wow. This actually seems to, beyond all belief, uh, be fine. We gave Earth, like, 300 moons, um, and nothing happened. I mean, are they really moons? I mean, they're called moon, and wow, they are actually just tiny little moons. I did not expect that at all. <laughs> oh my god. Look how tiny it is. Wow, okay, so we got like Mama Moon and all the baby moons, and the baby moons seem to be ignoring the Mama Moon. Huh, very sad family dynamic here. We're going about the same seed. I wonder if they're actually gonna get thrown off at some point, or if we just literally made three. You know what? You know what can it possibly hurt when you already have 300 moons? 301 moon! Now this was just asking for it. <laughs> this one's just asking for it. Oh, maybe not. Alright. Really? The game, the game legitimately does not care about the fact that this moon is here. This should be causing issues. Like, at this point, we should be having some odd issues with, like, the moons being pulled by the other moons, but they seem to... Oh, there we go. There we go. Some of them got flung into the other moon, and these moons are actually actually starting to get pretty close together, which is even more worrying than all the tiny little moons. Ah, oh, so many moons. Imagine looking into the sky and seeing hundreds of moons. I don't think any of real- okay, a few have hit Earth at this point, but they're so tiny they're not really doing much damage. Which is impressive. What I'm more concerned about is the fact that these are going to hit each other. Oh! Oh! Wow, okay, no, there is actual damage being done now. I think that's the- the tidal force is ripping the moon apart. 
because the moon is actually getting much cl- yeah it is. Hey, the moon is contributing more moons. I think we're actually getting more rather than less from this. This moon got pulled by the other moon which caused it to get closer to Earth and now the tidal force is ripping it apart. Honestly, you have to have the trails on to notice that there's 300 moons, like... Honestly, impressive. Oh, they are so close together. Did you see how close the moons got there? Oh, boy. Spike, which moon? There's 300 of them. You know which one I'm talking about. Oh, oh man. They are going to, uh... They're going to say hi to each other. Probably more than say hi. They're going to full-on smack into each other and explode at some point. Oh, well, that may not actually happen, because the Earth seems to be keen on eating this moon first. Ah, I hate it when I'm trying to make a friend and then they get eaten by the Earth. Terrible experiment. Experiment? Experience! No, I wouldn't do an experiment like that. That's going a little bit too far. Ooh, look at the beautiful, beautiful Earth. And all the moons. Earth did take a little bit of damage, I won't lie. But I mean, compared to what could have happened, it's, it's not that bad. Could have been worse. Oh, that moon just went right by us. Okay, so, to be fair, to be fair, there are 300 moons here. Um, which is pretty impressive, but I will say, I did not expect this to be as stable as it is. Like, sure, Earth is being destroyed and this moon is being destroyed, but we still have probably like 200 moons just just orbiting. They don't even care. So, I wonder if we could increase their size next time. But, I have a debate to go watch. So, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Do, 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 do. Oh, it looks so cool with all the pads. I really do like that. It's pretty neat. All right. Peace out.